If you follow the recent developments in the gaming industry, you might know that the last weeks have been a roller coaster if you've been using Unity as your game engine of choice. Maybe you're now worried that this decision was wrong and you're wondering if Unity is a burning ground. When I started my game development journey a few months ago, my enthusiasm for Unity was huge. But two weeks ago, I found myself plunged into the turmoil that was the Unity community's reaction to sudden drastic license changes. Changes that, to many smaller devs, seemed like a betrayal. This unexpected twist had me rethinking not just my current project, but also the future of this channel. Unity had decided to impose limitations that would significantly impact indie developers once they hit a certain amount of revenue. It sent waves of uncertainty across the community and I was no exception. On the 22nd of September, Unity took a step back, rolled out an apology and attempted to mend the broken bonds with the community. But for me and many other developers, the trust was already hanging by a thread. It led me, and maybe also you, to the question, should I switch to another game engine? Even before Unity's apology, I found myself exploring alternatives, scoring the net for game engines like Unreal and Godot that might suit my needs just as well, if not better. But is there really an engine out there that could rival Unity? While Unreal Engine offers visual scripting, C++ development and hyper-realistic graphics, Godot has a strong advantage in being open source with a strong community contribution, a lightweight editor and C-sharp support for scripting. Coming from Unity, Godot seems way more fitting than Unreal. This open source project began in 2014, has grown exponentially and won the hearts of many developers. Why? Godot sidesteps the pitfalls of trust issues and sudden fee changes that engines like Unity might impose. It has the potential to ascend as the best free game engine, a community project with no limitations. A status akin to that of Blender in the 3D modeling world. And so I started to look into Godot for several days. I downloaded Godot, started creating a basic project, experiencing firsthand the features and flexibilities it offers. And what should I say? For a beginner like me, it seems like a solid game engine with some different approaches compared to Unity. Especially the node structure is simple to understand. It has an interesting programming language called ChidiScript, is very lightweight, it's an open source project and offers great functionality around 2D game development. The journey of exploring game development and sharing it with all of you is filled with learnings, surprises and sometimes abrupt changes. The Unity scandal was a wake-up call, a reminder to stay informed, adaptive and how destructive license decisions are for developers using this engine. But despite all that, I'm sticking with the Unity game engine for now. You might be wondering, with all these benefits and the open source nature of Godot, why would I decide to continue with Unity? I found myself pondering this, weighing the pros and cons of each engine. Unity, despite the recent drama, does offer an extensive range of features, tools and opportunities to develop and scale your game. Yes, Godot has potential, but for my current needs and the project I've already started in Unity, it makes more sense to continue my journey there. Unity is still a powerful engine that can bring my and also your vision to life. I believe in the potential of open source projects like Godot to revolutionize the game development landscape. But for now Unity aligns better with my goals. It's crucial to assess your individual needs when choosing an engine, rather than making hurried decisions due to sudden changes in the landscape. So the best tip I could give you from this experience is take a quick look into Godot and find out if it could fit to you. But don't waste a lot of time switching back and forth between engines just to find the perfect fit to start with. It's better to start with any game engine instead of being stuck in analysis paralysis for too long and not really starting at all. If you have any questions left, join my Discord server where I always try to answer and text back to you. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Trust is easy to lose and it's hard to earn and uh, we have to show it and then people will judge us based on that. And so my job, our job is to make sure that we build the right tools, go about it the right way and that see, people see that and then it's up to them to make their own determination about trust. I, I can't 
tell you that you should trust me. You have to decide that on your own.